everybody, and good Monday evening to you. And boy, today looked and felt like a Monday, didn't it? A, a gloomy one out there. We will have to be on guard for some slick spots as we go through the night tonight. So let's get right to it and talk about the uh, weather happenings across eastern Ohio and western PA. First of all, temperatures just flatline today with the clouds and the, uh, the, the mist and drizzle and flurries and fog. We even had some slick spots first thing this morning. It's just been just a ho-hum Monday with temperatures either 29 or 30 ever since midnight last night. But colder air is on the move tonight, and that colder air will make inroads overnight. In the meantime, we have a little front off to our south and a little ripple or two of low pressure riding along that front keeps kicking moisture up our way. Earlier today, we had kind of a mix of light snow and some drizzle and freezing drizzle. As of this recording, it's 717. Uh, light snowflakes, a couple of raindrops could still be in the mix before the evening is through. And again, the colder air is about to become the story, but at least we're not dealing with this. Look at the wintry mess that will unfold over the next 48 hours across parts of the Plain States, down into the Tennessee Valley, the lower Mississippi Valley. In fact, ice storm warnings are out this evening uh, for the Memphis area, heading into parts of Arkansas and Dallas-Fort Worth. Ice is going to be a problem there, up into parts of Oklahoma as well, even as far south as San Antonio and Austin. Uh, this is going to be a rough couple of days. Back here at home, uh, you can see on our camera here some of the uh, you know surfaces that aren't on the main roads have gotten a little covering of snow over the last uh, several hours, mostly grassy surfaces and sidewalks and things that aren't treated. But uh, a lot of wet areas out there, a lot of slush, uh, and a lot of roadways look like this. Just kind of a sheen of water on them this evening, and I am concerned about that as we go through the overnight and temperatures start dropping quickly. Road surface temperatures are mostly around freezing, give or take a degree or two, as of 718, but these will drop overnight as well. So again, anything untreated could be a little bit of a problem. Now the snowflakes falling from the sky will be primarily reserved for this evening. Now as we had towards midnight, especially in our southern viewing area, the closer you are to the Ohio River, um, a little moisture is going to try to build back in. This could manifest itself as some freezing drizzle or a drizzle snow snizzle mix in places like Wellsville and East Liverpool and heading over towards uh, Beaver County, PA, Lawrence County, PA. Farther north you are, the better chance you have of either just being snow free overnight or maybe just some flurries here and there. But region wide, even if not much falls from the sky tonight, we're going to have to watch things uh, very carefully as uh, temperatures end up in the teens overnight. So we haven't had many mornings like this of late, but we'll wake up in the mid-teens Tuesday morning for the final day of January. And despite sunshine increasing towards midday, we're still only up to around 2022 20, by lunchtime, heading for the mid-20s at best in the afternoon. It's really going to feel like the dead of winter on our Tuesday. All right, as far as, uh, aside from the cold, the, the weather will be pretty benign the next couple of days with most of the action well off to our south. Some sun comes out tomorrow, some sun will come out on Wednesday as well, and even into Wednesday night and Thursday. Things stay pretty uh, quiet here locally with cold rain and icing problems down in parts of the Tennessee Valley, the lower Mississippi Valley as well. Our next weather maker is actually this front, which will cruise through Thursday night after a brief warm up on Thursday. We're back in the deep freeze, briefly, for Friday, Friday night into Saturday as well. A high temperature of just 19 on Friday. Friday night into Saturday morning, not going to be surprised if we have some temperatures locally flirting with zero in some of the colder nooks uh, as Saturday gets underway. But a nice turnaround by Saturday afternoon, but an even nicer turnaround on Sunday. And Sunday begins a pattern shift that's going to take us back into a distinctly milder pattern. All right, we're going to get grazed by the cold Friday into Saturday. It's going to be cold enough here, but check out the uh, modeled temperatures out across parts of New England, especially by Saturday morning. I mean, Albany, New York, 15 below zero. New York City could get down below zero. That's despite having no measurable snow so far this winter, but it could go below zero despite no snow on the ground in the Big Apple Saturday morning. Even as nearby as Jamestown, New York, the Finger Lakes, Syracuse, Rochester, Buffalo, it's going to be way below zero. Saturday morning, but that's going to be mostly aimed at New England. We're just on the fringes of this, so while well, it's going to be cold, uh, we're not going to be way below zero uh, like they will be in New England as the weekend gets underway. But boy, the longer range is looking milder and milder. I'm increasingly convinced that February is going to take on a very similar flavor to January and that the southeast ridge is going to flex its muscles and all the cold is going to continue to be dumped out here as a general rule. 
Now, there's going to be, of course, some cold intervals, as, as there have been in January. But February as a whole is likely to be a warmer than average month. We'll have an official February outlook on the final day of January coming up for tomorrow. But I can almost guarantee you're going to see a lot of oranges and reds east of the Rockies for February. That doesn't mean it can't snow. It can still snow in a mild pattern. In fact, if you have mild weather later in the winter, sometimes you're going to actually increase the chances for some snow, believe it or not, because uh, you get uh, more of a clash of the air masses whenever cold does come calling, it's going to run into that warm air and abnormally moist air probably if it's warm in winter or early spring, chances are there's a fair amount of moisture in the pattern as well, so you can still get some snows in a warm pattern, but I don't see a lot of harsh cold coming our way as we wrap up meteorological winter. We'll also do an update on where we stand as far as winter goes, precipitation, snowfall compared to normal, all that good stuff in the next couple of days on Weather for Weather Geeks as the weather should be pretty quiet here in eastern Ohio and western PA. Thanks for watching on this Monday night. I'll see you right back here on Tuesday.